guys welcome back to my channel for another video um, I'm still in my new apartment and I'm kind of trying to get things set up um, I'm still using my tripod from my old desk which like clips onto the desk so I'm at like a super weird angle right now I only have one of my studio lights out and my dishwasher is going in the background and so is my washer so this video is probably gonna be a hot mess but I really want to get this uploaded for you guys um, this is gonna be my October kit lineup for those of you who missed my September kit lineup I use two planners um, mostly just because I can I use a spiral bound memory planner and then I use a cloud that I use for basically one is like for filming and one is for day to day but buddy stop it it also wouldn't be a me video without buddy interrupting at some point um, but I have basically two kit lineups to show you guys and I'm excited super excited actually about the this October one mostly because I think that these spreads are gonna be fire so let's get into it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my memory planner first this is going to be for the week of October 4th through the 10th I included these um, the first week of October technically September 27th through October 3rd in my September lineup video um, so this is going to be like the first full week of October. I'm going to be using this kit by Crest Press called Trick or Treat. And pretty much the like biggest deciding factor in me using it between my memory and my spiral was honestly what kind of um, little like hole protector overlays I had because um, I wanted it to obviously match the kit. So I love the colors in this kit. This is going to be like one of my more like bright spreads because even though I've been really loving like the fall colors, I just, you know, I still can't get away from false or like, you know, bright spreads at heart. So this is going to be the color scheme and I am pairing it with the black star wiggle from scrubble prints co it is my favorite foil to use for halloween i just never get tired of it and it came with some extras and i just think this is gonna look so pretty and i think the black is like really gonna pop especially because of this um pattern right here it has the black stars already in it so i just think this is gonna look super stunning um i'm thinking i might pull in hollow accents but we'll see because i just kind of want to make the black the star of the show so that's going to be for the first week of October in my memory planner. All right, this is the next kit that I will be using. This is going to be for October 11th through the 17th. So this is called Halloween Night and I'm going to be pairing it with gold and I have some of these like bat deco situations from Sadie stickers. It was like for $2 Tuesday and I'm waiting on some gold bougie from SPC, but I just think gold is going to look really good with this kit, but I really think that you could pair damn near every foil with this kit and I think it would look good you could use black again you could pull an orange buddy um if there was like a lime green foil um like the one I used for Murdoch Talks during the summertime I think it would look really cute um but I wanted to use this in my main planner but because it wasn't like the most kick-ass like foil combo that I had um I really enjoyed the art I just like didn't really have like a room for it in my main planner and like one of the biggest things that I also do when I decide my kit lineup for the month is like kind of how all the kits kind of correlate together, which isn't really going to make sense on the next couple that I'm going to show you, but I wanted to save some more of my bright kits for like the beginning of October in my memory planner because I feel like everything that is in my main planner that you will see like all kind of like correlates together. I don't know. My brain is super weird. That's why I really like watching these October kit lineups because you see how everybody has like the same weird process to figure out their kits. The next kit I'm going to be using is called Adams. It's for the week before Halloween, the 18th through the 24th. And I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to use this kit, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use it. And I think I'm going to be pulling in silver. Um, I don't have all of the foil with me at the moment. You'll see it in like a couple feature pairings um, because I'm using it in some other kits. And then whatever I don't use in those kits, I will be pulling into this. And I have two character sheets to go with this that I just hauled from Once More With Love and with Paper Shire so I can pull in those different characters but if I had to pick one of my favorite Halloween movies it's probably the Addams Family it's like one of like the earliest ones that I can really remember watching and like really loving and so I just think it'd be really cute to um kind of pull these darker colors in which I know doesn't make sense to what I just said about like bringing in brighter colors but honestly I just really wanted to use the art and like challenge myself to a darker spread um and I think this will feed into my actual Halloween week really well um and there wasn't really like another Halloween kit that I was like super duper in love with. Like I kind of got all the art that I really wanted to use. And so this was like my backup. So I decided to keep that. Okay, so finally for the final week of October, also Halloween week, I decided to get this kit last minute. I'm still waiting on the foil pairing for it. I think I'm going to be going with the gold candy foil from SPC. But I think that I can also, I don't know, I was going back and forth between silver and gold, but I'm 
thinking I don't know I don't know if I said gold but I'm leaning more toward silver I think that it could go either way I just think these are like a little bit more cooler tones but I just like fell in love with this art like really last minute and I love kind of like stay at home Halloween kits I ended up using the Kitness Jess art last year that was like the stay at home vibes for Halloween and I just think these are like traditional Halloween colors but like without being super in your face um, and I love like this little ghosty pattern right here and there are like little deco bits and elements that I feel like I can pull in to this spread. Um, I think I also just, there's a label sampler. And then this is the uh, bottom washi. I think it's going to lay out really nice. Um, and I think it's going to be like kind of a nice transition into some darker ball kits that I will be using. So that is the lineup for my memory planner. And I will show you guys the lineup for my cloud, which I'm like, honestly, probably most excited about. Okay. So in my cloud for the week of October 4th through October 10th I will be using this kit called Little Witch which is obviously Kittenish Girl um Kittenish Jess sorry <laughs> I always forget her name like the specific way but Kittenish Jess art girl that one um it's her art and it's called Little Witch and I'll be pairing it with hollow foil um and I'm actually kit twinning this week with uh, Mackenzie from Planners and Pugs and I went back and forth between whether or not to use hollow or to use um what do you call it? Silver. Um, but I'm using like this hollow celestial bundle from Caress Press that I think is going to go like super, super well with this kit um, because of like the kind of celestial elements in the patterns. Um, my trick with this one though is I don't want it to end up like too busy. I feel like between the art and the foil, it's really easy to get a little bit lost. And so I went back and forth between using hollow and using black, but I think I'm going to go with the hollow. I might pull in like some black sparkly elements we'll see but I want to like I don't want to go too ham on this spread because I don't want it I don't want to end up hating it because I, I try to do too much you know what I mean um but I love like this pattern right here that has a little celestial so I decided to add in the celestial foil bundle it comes with some extra boxes I have hauled all of these before if you check out the hauls on my channel but I just think that this is gonna look so pretty and like oh, I don't know I am excited about this pairing I will actually be laying this down next so hopefully I love it so the next kit I have here is for October 11th through the 17th and this is probably the one I'm most excited about I totally raved about this um when I hauled it I think that the colors are absolutely incredible and then Kit is just again blessed us with her beautiful little mind and she paired it i haven't seen any other october lineups but she paired it with like this like black or not purple prism foil and it matches so perfectly y'all like i don't even remember what this foil bundle was called but i think it actually might be purple prism but i happen to have it and then i'm also going to be pulling in the elements of silver that i had also pulled out um like the spider webs and things to decorate the full boxes but i am super excited about this i it's not even the casper's like my favorite movie ever but i am so obsessed with these colors like these like cool like purples and like blues i think the patterns are super stunning i've raved about this like so many times um especially in my haul so i won't i will try to reel it back right now but I am absolutely excited, especially now that I have seen this foil pairing. I think it's going to turn out super stunning. Next, I have a foil pairing combination that I am super, super excited about. This is the Horror Squad kit from Press Press. And I have so many things to pair with this kit. I'm like so excited about this. It's not even funny. Um, and so we'll go through the actual kit in a second. But I have all of these like different like horror movie characters to pull in for the week. And I have these um, whole overlay protectors from Sticky Essentials in like a sparkly red. And I am pairing this kit with sparkly red. I have this foil bundle here from Moonlight Paper Co. But I also have a little foil bundle from Scribble Prints Co. to pull in elements of that. And I have heard from some people that have already used this that it doesn't come up super well. So I don't want anything to like rip and be stuck without the foil. So I decided to have the Scribble Prints Co. as kind of a backup, but I'm mostly excited for these bougie box underlays, honestly. I think like the blood spatter is just gonna look so cute. And then this is the actual kit. I think this is gonna end up being like my favorite foil pairing, honestly. Sorry if I, like, I feel like I'm rushing. I'm also just very aware of like the background noise. So I'm just trying to get through this so that I can also lay down stickers. Um, so there's all of this. I really, I'm just, I sound like a broken record, but I'm so excited for this foil pairing. It's just gonna look so stunning. Like, I mean, honestly, like this blood drip on this bottom washi. Let's talk about that for a second. Oh my God, I'm so stoked. Last but not least, I have my actual Halloween kit that I will be using 
for this year and this is i'm going super traditional halloween colors with this this is from last year this is called boo and i never got the opportunity to use it i wasn't using two planners at the time um and i ended up going with that other like stay at home set and this got bumped so i had to make sure that i used it and i'm pairing it with a black foil bundle and i also have some more silver spider web kind of moments to bring in like bat deco and things like that I am super excited. It was kind of like really difficult for me to choose to go with a kit from last year um, instead of using one of the newer arts, but I just like, I feel like I have to use this and I never got the opportunity to. It's like such like a modern feeling, classic Halloween. Um, and I have a couple of extra sheets in here that came in a rack bag. So it's gonna be super awesome to have just like a bunch of elements from this kit to work with. So I have like repeats of a lot of the same pages. Um, and I love the patterns. I don't know. I just think it's going to look really, really good. I'm super excited about it. Um, and then, yeah, we just keep going through this. I have like, I have literally so many things to use in this kit. It's going to be awesome. I'm not going to be struggling to find anything. Um, I also have like an orange foil. I don't know if you guys can tell this is like an ombre, which is super cute. Um, but I have an orange foil that I thought about maybe pulling in and doing like a mixed metal with orange and black. But again, like I just, sometimes I have too many ideas for foil and I don't want to go overboard and then like hate the spread. So for right now, I think I'm just going to stick with black, but maybe I will bring in like orange headers or something like that. We will see how I'm feeling on the week that I lay that down. So there's that paired with the black foil, like I mentioned. That is everything I have to show you guys for my October kit, the lineup. I am super excited about these spreads. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Chan Plan so that you can see pictures of all the finished spreads as well as subscribe here on YouTube because I will be posting the plan with me's for my cloud planner on this channel. Um, let me know what your guys' favorite kit lineup, kit combination was. I think mine is definitely going to be the Casper. I think that that is such a genius foil combination. Full creds to Kitness Just for that one. Um, I haven't seen any other kit lineups, but I'm, I'm really excited. I'm about to watch like MK plans um, and all of the other people. I'm just like blinking right now whenever I try to shout people out, but let me know what you are most excited about for your planner lineup and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.